Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to build the Flexor C Ascent 93mm quadcopter using the FRSky XM transmitter, the Foxeer Aero Micro camera, which is unfortunately part of the first batch which the OSD is not quite working so I'm going to turn on the OSD and hopefully it's going to perform okay. The Fly Tower Mini, which is an excellent all-in-one solution. It has a 4-in-1 20 ampere ESC controller and an F3 board with a built-in OSD. And it's going to make this build a quite easy one. In addition, I'm going to use the DYS 6500-1104 motors, which I've already used in the Ishin Roar 120mm quadcopter, and I think they performed quite well, so I'm going to use the same motors in this build as well. The weight of this frame is 9.82 grams without the spacers, and you have to supply your own or buy it from Flexor C, because in the kit you don't get any. The thickness of the bottom plate is 2mm, and the thickness of the side plate is 2mm as well. So let's start working and build the Flexor C Ascent 93mm quadcopter. They say into your early life romance came and it had 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 So I've connected the camera and it is working, but I'm going to turn off the OSD because as I said earlier in the video, this is the V1 and Foxeer had problem with the first batch. So I'm just going to turn it off. So I just finished building the Ascent 93mm quadcopter. The building process was not hard since this all-in-one flight controller and ESC makes it pretty easy. However, after I flashed it, one of the ECs wasn't recognized and one of the motors didn't work so luckily I had a spare one so I could replace it and now it is working. I was missing a spacer in my kit so I just used one of these plastic spacers and uh, hopefully it's going to be alright. It looks a little bit more tight but I think it's going to be okay. As for propellers, I use these 51 millimeters propellers and these are probably the biggest propellers you can fit with this build. You can see they are almost touching each other. The total weight of the quadcopter without the battery is 61.6 grams. And in my test flight, I'm going to use two batteries. One is 2S and the weight is going to be 87.9 grams. And flying with the 3S battery is going to be 102.7 grams. The Lizard 95 millimeters weighs 66.6 grams and you can see how it compares to the Ascent 93. The Ascent looks a little bit bigger but this is because of the structure of the frame. They are quite similar but you have to remember that this one has a CCD camera and this one just a CMOS camera with 100 milliwatt which was actually very successful because the settings are not saved. On this one I have the ATX03 which is set right now for outputting 200 milliwatt but I have this brass antenna and over here we have the clover roof antenna so I'll see what kind of signal I will get with this VTX. So I hope you enjoyed this build video and next thing I need to do is take it for a test flight. If you have any questions about this build process or about any of the parts, feel free to ask it in the comment section below and see you on my next videos. Goodbye. Bye.
walk around, people see me differently. Family and friends, even strangers recently. I can't go back to me. I can't go back to me. I 